An update now to a search that we told you about earlier. Wright County deputies say yesterday afternoon a man named Jarrett Preston attempted to retrieve an item floating down the river when witnesses say he went underwater and then failed to resurface. His body was found by a search team. Estimated 5 million older Americans experience elder abuse, neglect, or exploitation. That's 1 in 10 older Americans. Tomorrow marks World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, a way of calling attention to the widespread problem that Joe Hickman looked into. It was in May of 2022 that Taney County resident Ann Schilling was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the elderly abuse of her husband. Schilling and her son were accused of using the $1,500 a month her husband received in Social Security benefits to purchase drugs while leaving him to live in squalor, crawling on floors covered in feces and cockroaches with no bathing and inadequate food to control his diabetes. That situation represents three of the four types of elderly abuse that can occur. There's the physical, mental, or sexual abuse that can have physical or emotional signs. Neglect is when a primary caregiver fails to provide adequate assistance that the individual depends on, such as food, clothing, shelter, or medical care. Self-neglect is when an individual fails to meet their own essential needs that threatens their health, safety, and well-being. And exploitation is when someone takes advantage of the individual for personal benefit by either financial or legal means. In Missouri, during fiscal year 2023, our department received and investigated over 43,000 reports of abuse, neglect, and exploitation. So that's an average of 120 reports every day. The National Center of Elder Abuse estimates for every case reported to the authorities, as many as 23 cases go unreported. Saturday is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day to draw attention to the cause. And you might notice purple pinwheels at various locations as a symbol of support. And there's a hotline and website you can go to in order to report suspected abuse and neglect. Individuals can sometimes be reluctant to report, and that's understandable. But their information and their identity does remain anonymous. In conjunction with World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, the IRS is emphasizing scams that target senior citizens. If you have older relatives, keep an ear out for when the phone rings and how they react and how they're having, what kind of conversation they're having with somebody. Things to watch out for include people who impersonate government agencies like the IRS, Social Security, and Medicare to get information. Scammers also frequently make claims of problems or prizes, claiming you owe money or promising that you've won something. They pressure you for immediate action, creating a sense of urgency and making threats. And they specify payment methods that are hard to trace, including cryptocurrency, wire transfers, payment apps, or gift cards. The IRS will never contact anybody, including seniors, via the telephone initially on any kind of an issue. Folks can be very gullible and trusting. So there are people who, who count on that human conditioning to do some terrible things to folks. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.